Hello! Welcome to Dad's video. Oh, welcome to Dad's video. Hey, what's up? We're back with another video. Hey, so y'all know that I got this right here, right? The R Vinyl Express R Series 2. That's the one I use on my videos. But I'm fixing to show y'all I bought something else. I bought it for my wife. And I'm going to show you what I bought her. So stick around and I'm going to show you what I got her. But first... Let me hit you with that intro. Okay, thanks for sticking around. Here's what I picked up for my wife. Cameo Silhouette 3. My wife saw me doing stuff, so she got the fever. So I picked her up one for herself. So she could start doing her own thing. So what we're going to do... We're gonna give a little, uh, I guess a little tutorial on the silhouette on how to do. We're gonna do a sticker for a friend of mine with a cutout. So it's gonna be a sticker with a cutout, and this is gonna be on the Cameo 3 silhouette. Okay, so here's the picture that I'm gonna use right here. As you can see, it's really distorted. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how. When I get a picture like this that's distorted, how I use it, how I fix it to be used, to be cut. So, it might seem like a long process, but once you learn it, it's not a long process. So, I got Photoshop. I'm going to put it into Photoshop. I'm going to grab the square tool right here, and I'm going to put a rectangle around it. Because this is what I want. Then I'm going to control C to copy it. I'm going to open up a new one. I'm just going to make this photo, okay, and then I'm going to come here to this eraser right here, I'm going to click it, the magic eraser is going to erase the whole background, control V to paste it, and then I'm going to control T, which is to transform it, and I'm going to make it bigger. So now that I got it to where I want it, you can see... It's, a, it's not as pixelated, so now I'm going to save this, save as a JPEG. So now I'm going to save it as a JPEG, then I'm going to close this out. I'm going to drag this now into Adobe Illustrator, and now I'm going to make it a vector. So now that I have this here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click anywhere in the background, I'm going to image trace it, and there it is right there. But, if I were to save this right now, it's going to save the background as white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this corner up here, and it is the image trace panel. And I'm going to come down here to where it says ignore white, click it, and it's going to take that out. So, and then you might want to mess with this stuff here a little bit, so, until you get your line chart. As you can see, like, the more you mess with it, it's going to go away. So I usually just mess with it until I think my lines are sharp enough. Once you got it to where you want it, you're going to hit expand. And once you hit expand, it's going to automatically turn it into a vector. Bam, there it is. All right, so now we're going to save it. Save as. And we'll just save that. Save as. Okay, so here's here's the picture that we made with the vector right there. I mean, it's pixelated because it's, it's the computer. But she's going to go ahead and drag that, drop it into Silhouette Studio, let it load, and then resize it. So as you see, this file right here doesn't have a background. It's a PNG file. Those are the best files to get because there's no background. You don't have to worry about deleting it. So resize the sticker or whatever you're cutting, piece of vinyl for a shirt. You're going to resize it to the size that you want. And we're going to do a 6 inch sticker by 5 inches. That'll work. Alright, and then from there she's going to hit select trace. And she's going to put a square around there. 
drag it around the area she wants to trace. There you guys, as you can see, it traced out the Arizona State. Then she's going to hit trace. Then she's going to come up here and remove the original one, deleting it. And then you stay with the traced image right there that will be cut. All right, so now she's going to grab the Phoenix seal, drop it into Silhouette Studio again. Right there, just drop it. Then she's going to, re as you can see up here, it gave her an error that reads that it's too big and it's going to be pixelated, but it's okay because we're going to resize it and make it smaller. So there might be things that you know about the silhouette that I don't know. Like this is my first time using it. I usually use my cutter, but if I'm saying something that you're like, yeah, whatever. Okay, this is why it's my first time. All right, so she's going to move it out the way. She's going to put it there. Then she's going to trace it. Click it. Click what you're going to trace. Hit it. Put a square over it. Then we should get the yellow trace. There it is. Hit trace. Remove the original image. Delete it. And then move this one into place. Just click it. There we go. You see. Click the bird. When you get the thumb, put it there, drop it. And then you can resize it. Now you can see the outline of the bird. You got to get the hand. Make it have a hand. Move this. Okay, so when you get the finger, you can move it. And there it is right there. So that's what we're going to cut right there. So, she's going to... Okay. Yeah, that's a good size. So now she's going to go ahead and send it to... What are you going to do now? Send it. So she's going to hit send. And then... So we she has it set up to automatic blade. So on the R-Series 2 vinyl cutter, you have to make sure you have your blade to a certain depth. On the Cameo Silhouette, the difference is, that I think is better, is that with this auto blade, you just put your blade in there and then it'll adjust to what you're using. And she has it on the vinyl gloss already because she's been doing some stuff on some mugs. So I'm going to show you what it does whenever you get ready to cut. All right, so right now, it's set for the vinyl, the glossy vinyl, so it's adjusting the blade on its own. And then when it's ready, it will begin its cut. This one's quieter than mine, but mine goes, this one moves slower, the Cameo Silhouette. And my Vinyl Express R Series 2 goes a little faster, so I don't know if that's the difference in the noise. Can't see cut yet, but we're gonna put this on some transfer tape. We're gonna weed it, put it on some transfer tape, the normal stuff that you would do for a sticker. So that's it, I guess. Yep. So it says working. All right, so now it says job complete. It has an unload button. Mine on the the R series two has some rollers in the back. You pull the little handles up and unpinch the vinyl, and you just pull it through. So let's unload it. Sorry about that. So, all right, so she got it all cut out. Can't really see it right now, but what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna give. She's gonna go ahead and cut this out. Cut it out. Get the um, weed it out and then get the, the sticky adhesive transfer stuff and then put it on here. And I'll take it to my buddy tomorrow. So. Lazy dog. Okay, so she went ahead and took it off this. 
sticky stuff that it comes with the silhouette comes with so now she's gonna go ahead and cut out her sticker um, I didn't even check if we could put a a weed like a like after it finished cutting if you could put a box around it like on mine once you once you finish it you could put a weed box around it I haven't checked on here yet I haven't got too in-depth in it but so she's so now she got her weed tool she pulled it now she's just gonna peel the sticker off making sure that when you're peeling it do not let this part of the sticker touch the other part of the sticker because then you're gonna mess up the whole sticker so she's just gonna constantly keep pulling in one motion while the whole thing comes apart and there's that part so now you can see a little bit better the state of Arizona and now she's gonna go inside and weed the inside leaving the white eyeball the leaving the white eyeball that's in there right there so she's gonna leave the eyeball in there and weed everything else start from this side right? so you could pull it that way so she's gonna peel it up start pulling in one continuous motion Peeling it, and then when she gets close to the face, she's got to make she's gonna double check to make sure. Okay, stop. Spin it towards you, and then she's gonna watch as she's pulling it to make sure that the eyeball stays in place. And it did. All right. So there's. So we got one more piece to weed out of there. There's the last piece. So let me take it over here to some light so you can see this. So now that I got it in the light, there it is right there. So there's the Phoenix Hill in the Arizona State. So now the next step is putting the transfer tape on, on it. So whenever you, put, whenever you peel the transfer tape off, you're then going to apply it to whatever you're going to apply it to. This guy's going to apply it to his window of his, of his car and sport it so let's get that going okay so this is the transfer tape that came with it she actually didn't buy this in store she ordered it on Amazon and I will put a link in the description to what she bought because you buy this on Amazon you would get it cheaper on Amazon than you will get it for at Michaels or Ann's or what's another place Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So you could buy this same thing at Hobby Lobby and pay more for it, or you could buy it online, and then you get all these supplies that come with it. So, so this this actually came with it, mm -hmm. and this and this vinyl came with it. So she has lines on here. You can follow the lines, and then she has this bought her this cool little cutter. You want to use the cutter? So she's just gonna go ahead and use scissors for this. And then there's that part and then next she's gonna peel off the plastic on this and put it on there so here's the clear the clear um, transfer paper she's peeling it apart peeling it apart there it is all right and then she's gonna apply it to the sticker folding it in half and then starting from the middle pressing it down once you get it laid on there you just lay it flat like that and you smooth it out you can use your hands or you can use that little tool there to get all the air bubbles out of it hey thanks for watching this is another quick 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 video it's been a while since I've made a video but I've been busy I got some Girl Scout shirts that I'm working on I did some Disney shirts and I'm fixing to do another order of some shirts from work on these on our 10 shirts but uh hey there it is hey, if you like what you saw hit that thumbs up hit the subscribe button you'll see more videos I'm working on one other video but I was just like let's do this quick video real quick 
Hey, my wife, there she is. She's going to start helping with the heart and hustle printing. So, hey, appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, heart and hustle printing. Peace out.